We're Saber and May, and welcome to our YouTube channel. Ripped jeans are a staple in our wardrobe, but they can be expensive to buy. So in today's DIY tutorial, we're going to show you how to distress jeans at home in two different styles. One style is the knee blowout, which is an open hole around the knees, and the other style is revealing the horizontal white threads. It's awesome though because shredding your own jeans instead of buying these mass manufactured ones makes them one of a kind. But if you don't have any old jeans just lying around the house, head to your local thrift store and you can get some there and upcycle. You can use a few different tools to get the job done, such as scissors, box cutter, or sandpaper. But from testing all of them, we found that our favorite is the rotary tool, which is what we'll be using today. So this is the rotary tool. So this is the rotary tool that we'll be using today. It's basically a drill with a sandpaper tip, so it gives it a more natural fray when you're cutting the fabric. It's really easy to use, it's not heavy at all, and it has different speeds, so it's really for all different types of levels. We found this rotary tool kit on Amazon for about $20, and we'll make sure to link it in the description box below. Let's get started. For this project, you'll need a rotary tool, a magazine, or anything thick enough to place inside the legs of the jeans to make sure you don't cut through to the backside, a marker or chalk, a good pair of scissors, and a seam ripper or safety pin. So first things first, put your jeans on before you make any marks so that you can easily picture the placement, size, and shape of the distressing. You can either sit or stand when marking the thigh and the shin areas, however, you'll want to sit down when marking the knees. And something to keep in mind when marking the jeans is that the areas of distressing will gradually become bigger the more you wear them. When you sit down, the jeans will stretch around the knees and will allow you to gauge how big you want the hole to be. I wanted to create a medium sized hole for the knee blowout and don't worry if you end up taking a huge chunk out of the knee because once you stand up, the hole will scrunch and won't look as large. Try to make both knees asymmetrical to give the jeans a unique look, but this is really all on preference. We'll be creating a smaller knee blowout, but with white horizontal threads showing above and below the hole. We're gonna start with the knee blowout. First thing is to place the magazine inside the leg underneath where you'll be cutting. You definitely don't wanna forget the step because you don't want another hole in the back of your knee. Then smooth out the pants before you start. So with any power tool, you wanna make sure you use the rotary tool safely and with caution. Before you turn it on, make sure it's on its lowest setting. In case the tip gets tangled up in the denim as you're using it, turn it off right away before you try to untangle it. Now that we're ready to start cutting, hold the jeans in place because the rotary tool will move it around. Watch out for your fingers though. Start tracing the mark with the tool slowly in small, short strokes. It takes a few times to cut through, but don't worry about cutting completely through all the way around the hole because you'll be able to just rip the fabric out when it's loose enough. Dancing to my legs grown up now we can just tear it out baby it's for 30 and my whole world is upset We like the messy fray and having some of the white threads out. And there you have it, a simple knee blowout. Now we're ready to work on the other knee. But hey, don't forget that magazine. With this one, we're gonna create a smaller, thinner knee blowout the same way as the other knee. Now for the fun part, it's time to get some white horizontal threads. We'll use the rotary tool to make an incision one inch above the knee blowout so that's easier to pull those blue vertical threads. If you want to show more white horizontal threads, just make another incision one inch above the previous one and keep going until you get the desired distressed area. For the next step, you'll need a seam ripper or a safety pin. 
Using the seam ripper, you'll want to start pulling on the horizontal white threads until it starts separating from the vertical blue threads. Once there is enough separation, you can start pulling the vertical threads to expose the horizontal ones. This part requires a bit of patience because it can take a while, but trust, it's definitely worth it in the end. But I can't get out of bed There's too much in my head I can be more faithful But I fail at that high Looking good. Now it's time to do the same thing just below the knee blowout. I wanna be good to myself Love hard to bring more drink less I wanna be seen at my best See more be nice a lot less all I need is 21 days and I'm fine Genuine everyone, I'ma still need more time Every single year, yeah, it never fails, I try But maybe I don't ever wanna put down this life I could be your best friend But I can't pick up my so here's another look at separating the white threads. Another easy way to get rid of the vertical blue threads is to cut them. Once you pull enough horizontal threads, you will see a fringe of the vertical ones which you can cut right off. All I need is 21 days and I'm fine A little bit of a mess, but we're done! And we've got some nice distressing to show for it. So hopefully this tutorial was helpful. Remember, distressing doesn't have to be perfect, and you can get as creative as you want with it. Good luck and have fun! If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Turn on that notification bell so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you all in the next one. More time. Every single year, yeah, it never fails. I try, but maybe I don't ever wanna put down this life.